My name is Imam Uzair Akbar and I'm the Imam at the Holland Park Mall since 1996. England, born in England, from England to Pakistan, studied in Pakistan and then from Pakistan straight uh, to Australia. This was my first Imam at role. I was 24 or 25, very young. Um, um, learned a lot through this journey, made a lot of mistakes. Uh, but the community has been very, very uh, supportive and uh, basically now it's not a community, it's a family. Yeah. Once the community started to grow yes. uh, and we started to receive people from different uh, backgrounds, from different cultures, I'm talking about Muslim backgrounds, Muslim cultures, uh, then you came to know that there was uh, a lot of different practices yes. that we were never exposed to because I studied in the subcontinent. And then you further your studies that does this have anything in Islam? Does it have a substance in Islam? So the community started to grow, I'll say in the last 10 to 12 years, really grow. People coming from different uh, cities of Australia, people migrating from different countries. And then it was hard for the community to see one kind of, uh, or one brand of the religion. <laughs> Um, one strand of the religion and it was hard for us as scholars to see different practices so what that did is that pushed us to study the topic in depth and that's where I believe in the last 10 to 12 years the horizon has been come, become very very wide The Imam is the educator, wherever he may be. So the Imam is the educator. And uh, uh, one thing that is uh, very, very good about uh, the Muslim community is that they do take the word uh, of the Imam. Uh, for example, where I am from, one simple example, um, if we pray the Janazah, uh, the, the, the person that has passed away has to be present. Uh, now, this is uh, the understanding of many, many scholars, but there are scholars that have accepted uh, the janazah of the person that is not present and now nowadays in the covid many many people can't go back home and their parents are dying their loved ones are dying so it's a matter of imam Uzair standing up and saying to the congregation let's stand up and pray mm. and no one is questioning so you can see that that uh, the the community has grown uh, uh, as the imams have grown as well and i, I and i can say without any hesitation that the group of scholars in Brisbane uh, are, are growing. Alhamdulillah, yes. So basically the Holland Park Mosque was established about 110 to 112 years ago and uh, we can appreciate the efforts of our elders that uh, uh, the struggle that they made to preserve the religion. Uh, so I believe that the Afghan Kamiliyas were passing through. They were family uh, uh, families uh, at that time like the uh, rain family the dean family the goss family um, and i think they put their mind together and they put this mosque uh, uh, you know they established this mosque many many years ago um, the afghan camelias of course they returned back or they went to the north uh, but the three uh, main families still are present amongst us so the barakat their blessings are with us the dean family the rain family and the goss family Alhamdulillah, they're doing wonderful work. So, so uh, it was the need of the time uh, and Allah Almighty uh, sends people uh, to do the work of deen. So these people did that work and uh, Alhamdulillah, wherever they may be, of course, they're resting in their graves now, uh, but uh, they're reaping the benefit. Our struggles nowadays uh, are going to be a bit different and uh, basically it's the uh, it's been equipped, the scholarship, the elders, the parents being equipped uh, with tools by which they can satisfy the queries, the questions of their children. Because the, the academic structure in this country, the education structure is such that it, it forces the child to be inquisitive. For example, many, many children, they say, why Imam Sahib, why is this halal? Why is this haram? 
why is this forbidden why is this not forbidden now to just say that Allah said is not good enough it may have worked with us when we were young Allah said the Nabi said but our children are too too inquisitive and and they need to be satisfied because if we don't address these questions with the the proper statement with the proper response uh, these questions will be uh, remaining and they will grow from strength to strength and then they will become sinister since we have been here for the last 25 years we have been uh, receiving many many schools maybe 70 80 90 state schools grade 11 grade 12s so we can increase that number as well because we have the facilities uh, secondly um, um, uh, we what I'm thinking is uh, one of the facilities for the wider community uh, is that we can uh, have something visual for them pertaining to Islam for our Muslim community we want to do programs that are family based where uh, the father and the mother can come together like everyone know in the past that we couldn't hold uh, a program that accommodated the male and the female gender so everything together there will be a place for the children that they can do what they need to do and then the uh, the family can benefit so it's going to be more of a family base uh, you know programs yeah.